Thank you to everyone who picked this dinosaur in a recent poll I did on my community tab. Mapusaurus rosier, meaning Rose's Earth Lizard, was a large theropod dinosaur found in the Huayancol formation in Argentina, which is the same formation that the famous Argentinosaurus was found in. The discovery of this animal back in 1997 was a fairly interesting one. Instead of just some fragmentary bones, they uncovered seven individuals of varying ages and took until 2001 to fully excavate them. Philip Curry and Rodolfo Correa named the animal Mapusaurus rosier, which translates to Rose's Earth Lizard. Rose, meaning Rose Letwin, the sponsor of the expedition that unearthed the fossils, and also referencing the colour of the rocks they found the fossils in, so you could say that they found a whole lot rosy. Mapusaurus is currently in the family Carcharodontosauridae, in a subfamily known as Giganontosaurinae, which is for all Carcharodontosaurids more closely related to Giganontosaurus than the namesake of the entire family, Carcharodontosaurus. This also means that it's related to Tyrannotitan and the recently discovered Marexes. And this also means that, when talking about the entire family, it's related to the North American Acrocanthosaurus atokensis, which I covered previously on this channel. Promotion out of the way. According to a video I remember watching from Red Raptor Whites, there was also debate over whether or not it's actually Giganotosaurus and not a new species. This was later cleared up in 2006, and they are now recognised as two different, though very closely related, animals. However, this did cause a massive misconception that Giganotosaurus lived with Argentinosaurus. I myself actually believed this for a while until I watched his video. Another argument started from Mapusaurus's discovery was whether or not it pack hunted. All seven individuals were found together with no other dinosaurs present. This has led to speculation it might have been a pack hunter, though don't get your hopes up. Like I said, there's been a ton of debate over this behaviour, with some believing they came together via a predator trap. Tarbosaurus had never seen such bullsh** before. And also, like I stated in my Acrocanthosaurus video, if these animals did pack hunt, it most likely would have been like a loose mob of teenagers where I live. Smart when alone, stupid when together. However, I like to think Mapusaurus would have been smarter than kids in my hometown. Or, in other words, think Komodo dragons instead of wolves, where it would be more so like a feeding frenzy of rampaging carnivores the size of school buses, instead of more organised tactical behaviour. Either way, it'd still be a formidable predator if several of them ganged up on Argentinosaurus, whether they were like wolves or Komodo dragons, especially when you can serve the size of just one Mapusaurus. With weight estimates hovering around 7 or 8 metric tons, and a length anywhere between 33 and 40 feet, it's believed to be one of the largest carnivores out there. Some websites and documentaries have even advertised it as being bigger than Tyrannosaurus rex, though that's a very, very low hanging bar to nitpick about, especially since I already ranted about it in my Tyrannosaurus rex video. To simply put it, when everything is bigger than Tyrannosaurus rex, then what's so special about being bigger than Tyrannosaurus rex? Mapusaurus, like its relatives, had flat serrated teeth. This adaptation is believed to have helped Mapusaurus take down large sauropods, such as Argentinosaurus, by causing it to die from blood loss or infection. In terms of appearances in the media, Mapusaurus has appeared in an episode of Dinosaur King, where it's shown being a fairly tough dinosaur to take down. And, definitely more famously, Mapusaurus appeared in the popular dinosaur documentary Planet Dinosaur, where it's shown hunting Argentinosaurus in an unorganised mob sort of behaviour. If you were to ask me if there's anything I dislike about either appearance, when going off of designs, I don't really know if there's anything wrong for both of them besides missing lips. Besides that, I'd say the 
dinosaur king design looks a bit too bulky and the arms look too big and the tail might be a little too flexible in this image. Also the wrists are pronated when they should be in a clapping position. Dinosaurs could not rotate their wrists and they didn't have them rested in this sort of position. Also according to the fandom website for Mapusaurus in Dinosaur King, it's 33 to 60 feet long, meaning that at 60 feet or 18 meters, it's 50% longer than real life Mapusaurus, meaning it's more than a third of the length of an Australian road train. I'm thinking of making a video where I go over Dinosaur King designs and rank them in terms of accuracy. So let me know if you think that'd be interesting to do as a video. And I was also thinking of doing the same with Jurassic World Evolution 2. Anyway, hopefully everyone enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe, or else Mapusaurus will choose violence.